Northmen say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Go on. Lillian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right inside of it. It won't let me go. Shenua, my father, he taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You're no coward. He proved that to me in the warrior trials. 
This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't your battle. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. the house. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Not following me. Leave it behind. There's more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. Listen to the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out.
think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. I tell you. Help me. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. 
But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Berserker, born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrvin. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I pass through were real enough. Damn. I can hear him. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in her grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Where is he going? He's you don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. <laughs> we told you it was a trick.
It's not Dillion. wants me to face my fears. Father? I'm leaving. Decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. You need that sword. Go get the sword. With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk, a goddess, into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillion was helping me become a warrior. And the sword will lead me to him. I thought we first met. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later, with Zinbal's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Tell you. Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us. <laughs> you have blood on your hands.